Yo guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here. Today we're going to be doing a video on the best deck for Arena 3 and 4. So you can see the deck that I have on the screen right now. I have the Fireball, I have the Minion Horde, I have the Bomber, I have the Prince, I have the Barbarians, I have the Spear Goblins, I have the Goblin Barrel, and I have the Knight. So this deck is cheap, easy, and efficient. You can see how many low-level Elixir troops I actually have in this deck. And a lot of these troops are actually available below Arena 3 and 4. Um, so you can see on the screen right here, Arena 4, you can unlock most of these troops. And Arena 3, you can as well. The Barbarians are a key aspect of that. So let's go ahead, find a live replay. We're going to go into battle. We have 2,000 trophies. So we are in Arena 7, and if it works in Arena 7, it's going to work in Arena 3 and 4. So we found our first opponent. His name is Stealth750. It looks like he's a level 7. I'm a level 8. So I'm going to have a slight advantage over him. He's going to give me the double thumbs up. Obviously, he's going to be a little scared to attack me. So I'm going to send in some barbarians. It looks like I'm going to do that on the left side here along with the bomber going in last. He told me good luck. So we are attacking his left tower. Let's see if we can take it out. He has not dropped anything except for the elixir collector. And it looks like the opponent just left the match. Um, so it looks like he just rejoin the batch match and by the time um, he comes back and actually sends in troops it's gonna be too late um, so obviously this isn't an actual attack with this deck we're gonna get into another replay I thought I'd just show this to you guys because it was a pretty lucky attack now let's get into the next one where we're gonna be using the exact same deck and we're actually gonna be going hard and using some good strategy so I got partly lucky on that attack and I'm not exactly sure what happened to his Wi-Fi there but we're gonna go ahead find our next battle in arena 7 um, so you can see right here this is consecutively so I didn't edit this at all. Um, we're going to start off by, I think, attacking from the left side. He is a level 6, so I am two levels higher than this guy. Um, so hopefully, uh, I'm going to actually give him a good luck here. And let's see if we can actually dominate this kid. So we're going to place our barbarians on the left side along with these spear goblins. Um, I knew he wasn't going to drop his troops first just because he was waiting for me. So my bomber is doing quite a lot of damage. And he might be one of the most underrated troops in the entire game just because if you put a meat shield troop in front of him, he just does so much work. The barbarians are taking out that tower on the left side. I'm going to drop in my prince. He's going to drop in four skeletons right there. And they're going to be able to distract my prince while the musketeer actually takes him out. So we still have around two minutes and ten. 10 seconds remaining on this raid. Uh, I think I'm going to drop in my minion horde right there where he's going to drop in his giant and his musketeer. So he's basically done no damage at all to any of my towers, and I don't think that giant is actually going to make it to one of my towers to do some damage, but the musketeer is firing on my knight. Uh, so the knight is going to approach the musketeer. Hopefully he's going to take him out, or her out, and now the bomber is going to be in the back of that prince, or the back of behind the knight, and going to be doing a little bit of damage on the inferno tower. So this guy does have inferno tower. I really don't like inferno towers or any defensive cards. Um, so we're just going to wait it out here. I think I'm going to fireball both towers here just because I can, and I'm going to take out the Inferno Tower while actually doing some damage on that tower on the left side. So that's usually what I like to do. Um, I don't like to waste a fireball. If there's two buildings in the same area, I'm going to take them out. So you can see that all of my troops have loaded. I'm going to wait until I max out on Elixir. So right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop some Barbarians and the Prince on the right side of the base while he drops in his Giant and his Musketeer on the left side. Uh, so let's see what happens here. The Bomber is going to be taken out by my Barbarians in just a second here. And it looks like his Giant and Musketeer are going to make their way towards my left tower. So they have almost taken out my tower. 60 seconds left. It looks like my tower is going to go down. And his tower is going to go down in a few seconds here. His Giant has uh, already been taken out by my Bomber. He's got 119 health left on that tower. We're going to take it out. So two crowns total. So I have a crown. He has a crown. I'm going to drop in the minion horde on the right side while the knight goes in on the left side. And hopefully he's not going to be able to take out the tower that I have on the right side. And maybe I'm going to take out the tower that he has on the left side. Now, if you don't have any of, like, the cards or some of the cards that I actually include in this deck, you can always use substitutes. Maybe you can use, like, the Archer and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. But you can see right here, we have 20 seconds left on this attack. I'm going to drop in. It looks like a Goblin Barrel. Hopefully going to take out that last bit of HP. And it looks like we're going to win this raid with that Fireball. Um, so this was a really, really nice raid. And um, it was a, a good attack by this guy, Barve Sailor. Uh, he did a really good job. So that's why I'm going to say well played. Now let's go ahead get into the next attack using the exact same deck it looks like he's gonna give me the double thumbs up I did get the two crown he got the one crown with 31 trophies um, so we're gonna find another battle here and it's so quickly how uh, like fast I can actually find a battle compared to like clash of clans 
It appears that this guy is level 7, so this is going to be a pretty interesting raid. Francis is going to drop in an elixir collector on his left side. I'm going to drop in the minion horde along with a few troops. Hopefully, we can rush his base and take out that tower on the right side. Um, so, we've done quite a little bit of damage, and it looks like he's already lost around, around 1,000 HP. Now, his crown is going to come to me. I got one crown. I've taken out one tower. We're going to take out his little bit of a goblin hunt, and I really, really hate goblin huts. Now, if you're in Arena 3 and you've watched this far into the video, I want to say that the minion horde that you will not be able to get can be replaced by just simple minions. Um, so if anybody comments that down in the description, I'm actually going to direct them to this point of the video. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. We have already taken out one of the towers here. It looks like we're going to go for the main tower. I'm going to send in the fireball, attacking both the elixir collectors and the tower on the left side. We've got a minute and 59 seconds remaining on the raid. I'm going to drop in the barbarians here, and hopefully they can make their way towards the top of the base. And I think I'm going to start rushing right about now uh, so maybe we can get the three crown I don't exactly know he's gonna drop in that giant skeleton that guy just does so much damage when he drops in his bomb and boom there go most of my troops I'm gonna drop in the goblin barrel maybe they're gonna do a little bit of damage on the goblin hut and on the main tower there one minute and 30 seconds remaining on this raid spear goblins are gonna be versing spear goblins of their opposite level Actually, the enemy spear golems are one level lower, but we still have a little bit of time to get the three crown on this raid. He's going to drop in the barbarian hunt on the left side, so he's trying to get my tower on the left side. I'm going to be dropping in the prince there and the bomber. Uh, so hopefully the prince is going to be doing a little bit of meat shielding and attacking at the same time. The bomber is going to be able to take out those barbarians with the help of the prince. I'm going to send in the knight as well. 60 seconds left. Double elixir. So this is the time that I love. I'm going to send in the goblin barrel. The goblin barrel is going to be doing quite a lot of damage on that main tower there. And it looks like we're going to be able to successfully take out and get the three crowns on this raid. So thank you guys so much for watching the video tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below if you guys want free gems click the first link down in the description or the link on the right side of the screen and i'll see you guys in the next one peace